The Rockford Ice Dogs briefly return home tonight to celebrate country night against the Grand Rapids Griffins here at BMO Harris Bank Center. Hello, everybody. Joseph Zakszewski with you for Ice Dogs warm up and the Rockford Ice Dogs broadcast network. I'm joined alongside interim head coach Derek King for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the Game. And coach, first things first, it's nice to come home and unplug a little bit. You get some valuable practice time after being on the road and felt like you were playing and traveling every other day, if not every day. How nice is it to just break down the X's and O's and, and spend some time on the ice in practice form? Yeah, it was good. Uh, obviously, when we can uh, get home and sleep in our own beds and feel comfortable, uh, it's always a nice thing. See the families and everything like that. But it was just good to have a little time to have a little video session and uh, work on some things in practice and prepare for tonight. And I imagine for a lot of these guys, it's uh, a chance just to get to another new teammate, Spencer Watson, Peter Holland, a lot of guys, new faces, Colin Dealey coming back down the organization. For a player and a coach, how nice is it just to dial back a little bit instead of throwing them into a morning skate into game action, but actually let them get to know the Ice Hog way? Yeah, and they get to know the, the BMO way of the bounces. So whether it's popping out in the corners or it's bad ice or whatever you have, but no, it's good. It's good for them too, just to uh, kind of get acclimated. And, uh, and it's, I'm sure it's, it's never easy when you're moved and uh, you try to get comfortable and get a good feel of your teammates. But they're both uh, good character guys and uh, they fit in right, right perfectly right off the bat. Rockford Ice Dogs just recently finished up a four-game road trip that took them through Grand Rapids where they started last week, actually, so not too far removed from the last time they saw them, but also through Pennsylvania and in Chicago. Just one win on that four-game road trip. You looking to do anything different or, or change anything up in terms of preparation? No, not at all. I think we've, we've played well enough to get the wins. We just, uh, you know, just kind of snake-bitten on the goal department, but uh, I got all kinds of confidence in these guys that they're just going to come out. And the big thing is to stay, stay true to our game, how we need to play. And we've been doing that. We just haven't had the bounces lately. So hopefully tonight we get some good bounces our way. And how do you adjust that in a, in a practice like mentality or a video session in terms of battling through and, and getting those bounces? How do you turn the tide and have chances come back your direction? Well, a lot of it too with the video is just showing them uh, things that we need to do better, but also showing them some stuff that when we do it right, and uh, do the little things right, that uh, opportunities there, which we did. We showed that, and, and, and they know it's there. They know they can play uh, with any team, especially any team in our division. So uh, the big thing is, is trying to get points out of these games, and uh, hopefully tonight we get some. Well, a tall test tonight here. The Grand Rapids Griffins in town. Grand Rapids, for the longest time, they were the top team in the Central Division. The Chicago Wolves have now passed them up. So, you know, this is a team that probably might have a little bit of chip on their shoulder because of it. But you just saw this team last week, so not too far removed. What are you expecting from this bunch tonight? Well, they're going to – obviously, they, they know that uh, we're desperate for points also. So, they want to get the first place, and we just want to get in. So, um, they know we're going to come out flying, uh, and we know their team's a pretty skilled hockey team. So, the big thing is just to, to stay, stay with our our game play within ourselves and uh, you know hopefully some of those uh, bounces go our way tonight and we get a few goals on them. Do you feel like the Ice Hogs have the uh, intensity matchup maybe the physicality matchup just because they've been playing playoff hockey for so long now you mentioned this Grand Rapids team they just want to get first place do you feel like that side of the game kind of airs towards the Ice Hogs in terms of being able to hit the ground running? Well it does they're they're you know they're a pretty quick team they, they got some big boys back there they got some good d big strong d so our biggest thing is to, to manage the puck in the neutral zone we don't uh, most teams when you play especially like a grand rapids or a chicago if you turn pucks over in the neutral zone, they thrive on that they got some players that some skilled players that could do some damage to you so if we manage the puck and and, and win the lines tonight i i like our chances the Ice Hugs also had some transaction news for Brett Wilechka signed to the Indy Fuel, and I'd imagine that means some players coming back to the lineup potentially, maybe guys getting healthier to maybe jump back in for you. How are the Ice Hugs looking on that front? Well, we got uh, Pelche and uh, Broadhurst are back uh, with us tonight, so that's going to help us huge. Um, you know, I'll just have to, you know, hopefully they stay healthy, and then we've got Secure coming back uh, for Manitoba trip. So that's three good key players that we've been missing for a while, and then hopefully we can... Uh, uh, stay in the hunt so when Highmore is ready he'll be back soon by the end of the month so they're going to help but again they know the way we need to play and they know what we have to do and uh, you know we're all on board we're all in this together so let's hope for the best. Well coach I appreciate your time good luck tonight against the Griffins. Thank you. Head coach Derek King joining us for the Forest City Diagnostic Imaging Diagnosis of the Game as the Ice Hogs back in action tonight out at BMO Harris Bank Center. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network.